looked like they were taking him out through the basement. Maybe I still had a shot. Rodrigo was too rich a prize for them to throw away. Sure, I'd have to work hard to get him back. was on the wall to the left of the gate. The great thing about being famous as well as rich is the bad guys know who to kidnap. Another parking lot rattling with gunfire. Was I too late? Falando com meus homens assim. Você acha que tem o direito de matar as pessoas a sangue frio, Becker? Cala a boca, cuzão. Continua dando multas. Não põe o nariz onde não é chamado. Vamos. Ai, ajuda, cara. Chama uma ambulância. Vamos. Me ajuda. Puta que pariu. Fuck. Você fez bem, Max. Você diz isso. Don't look so good. Hey, what could be better, huh? The good guys are reunited, and the Commando Sombra are dead. I guess. So who's this guy? I don't know. Some kind of cop. Uh, different branch of the police. Not Ufe, but uh, normal cops. I don't know about this stuff. Politics. Everywhere politics. Shit, Max, you look kind of beat up. Let's get this lot home, and then I'll, I'll get you home too. Come on. Back home, it was time for some R&R, &R, the only way I knew how. I was ready for bed. <laughs> A couple of days later, it was back to work. 
ferrying the boss's broad and his dipshit of a brother out for the night so they could recover from their brush with mortality. Then again, what did I expect? These were the kind of people who went to nightclubs in helicopters. Fabiana had brought her sister along, presumably so she could show off just how rich and empty her life was. And boy, was she about to learn the meaning of rich and empty. Max! Max! I was speaking to you! Sorry, what was that? Oh, I was saying we get into a lot of scrapes, man. <laughs> well, we're still here. Hey! Thanks to you, Max! I owe you my life. Boom. It wasn't just him, huh, baby? Oh, yes, Marcel. I'm sure you did a lot to save everyone. You were probably worried about getting blood on your stash. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Thank you, Max. I don't know what I would do without my sister. Mmm, spend even more time doing something useful. <laughs> you know she works in the favela. She's the good sister. Oh, shut up. <laughs> what did you hear, Faba? More bodies turned up where people went missing. Well, it's horrifying. Can someone say Buzz Q? Hey. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it is a cool town, man. <laughs> hey, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> I love this view. It's a real chill place to hang, you know? You do a little business, have some fun. I need it too. I've been working far too hard. Like a whore during Fleetch Week, <laughs> as my roommate used to say. <laughs> you like that, Max? That's pretty funny. Fashion week. My God, Egypt, but so beautiful. You know Anastasia? Oh yeah, I know Anna. <laughs> seen it coming, but that was no surprise. It's hard to keep your eye on the ball through the bottom of a glass. The doors had been chained shut. First through a glass window. I deserved a little something for the pain. Time was a luxury I couldn't afford. It was your typical trendy hellhole, a playground for the overpreened and undernourished. Sushi and house music and vodka, a place you don't get through the door unless you're rich, beautiful, or in this instance, it seemed, a heavily armed psychopath. I remembered there was a patio upstairs. About the only thing I'd managed to clock in that place was the smoking area. 
Son of a bitch. unfinished business and all I could think about was my unfinished scotch. Ah, don't shoot, por favor! You an American? Happy, healthy ex-cop? Give me a break. Whatever the hell they were arguing about, it was time for me to add my two cents. This wasn't the time to be second-guessing myself. I had to hurry or I'd lose them. I'd gone head first through a glass window. I deserved a little something for the pain. They were headed for the helicopter pad. I had to get to the roof before Giovanna and Fabiana left on a one-way flight. I knew this was going to be a bad idea, but in the continued absence of any good ones, I decided to go with it. Ah! 
What a view. I guess my time in Sao Paulo wasn't quite the paid holiday in the sun I'd been promised. At least I was getting shot at by a middle class of psychopath. These guys weren't messing around. This place was like Baghdad with G-strings. A couple of more seconds and I'd have given some poor street cleaner a crappy start to his day. Now, I had a ride to catch. All I said! Come on, come on! Jesus, Max, I can't leave you alone for five minutes! What the hell happened in there? They jumped us! Same guys from the party, I think. They grabbed the girls, and the Marcelo, but he's here now. Yeah, don't worry about me, homie. I'm just the guy paying you lots of money to protect me. Yeah, what were you drinking? Bet your ass I was. You try staying in there for five minutes sober. Hey, oh yeah! Look, there they are! I needed to find Giovanna before they did.
branco. Foi por isso que viemos aqui. O Serrano vai cortar nosso saco! Ficando vergonhoso! <risos>